Hello everyone and welcome back to Night in the Woods. So, we're actually heading into the woods now with our group of friends to try and find this ghost. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? No reason. Alright. I gotta work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Alright guys, let's go. Into the woods. See what we find. We've got some fun on a mission music. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? No, what is it? Tell me. Oh. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. I'm very curious what we're gonna find up here. Wait. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hon. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. He did. <laughs> what? When? When we were breaking into that history place? I don't think they attack groups, bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, thanks, Cap'n. Big dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. That was a very aggressive owl. I wonder if we'll, we'll find like a well up here. Like that one that May saw in her dream. Or are we heading towards like the, the mines or something? Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get a get all this back up in here? Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just like... All this old, old stuff out here? It's here every night. When you go to sleep. So? It's out here, in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, May. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. He looks like a bunch of old minecarts. Oh, now we're heading up and everything's turning red. Red like the dream. And the music faded out. And there's the stars. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Uh... Did we just wander into like a, a cult ritual? No, no! Ah, oh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got eye juice? No, no, guys. Ah, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Laura, if you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Yeah, okay, this is the person who left the arm there. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. 
I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. Okay, so we walked into something serious unless these people are role-playing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, hell. D Dave! Rick! Benny! Guys, you know me. Okay, I, I don't think we've heard any of these names before. Alright, Dave. You hold them. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if... Ah! Alright, he's free. Lerv. Ah! Lerv. Hey, no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and- Ah! 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 I- Ah oh, hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Ugh, got his bones sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Welp, they know who we are. Run! Okay, that uh... Am I actually- I am in control! Oh jeez! Don't put me in control right now! Why would you do this? I wonder what would happen if I failed here. If I can fail. How come they don't have to jump the things? Well, actually, I don't know if I have to, have to jump them, but uh, I don't want to risk running into them. Uh... That sounded like a gunshot. Wait, are we seriously waking up right now? What happened? The end? But we just started part four, so... Excuse me? Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at this Marty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well... I'm- I'm B now. Okay. Sure. I can be B. I'm so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. Okay, first of all, where's May? And also where's Angus? I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. It was a stressful time, senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. So, no word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? Yep. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know.
I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So, we still have no idea who this is? Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. Oh, there's Angus. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And... Yeah? Maybe lasagna? Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. That's true. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. He's the dad friend. Oh, no more than anyone else. So I guess... I'm, something happened to May. That's, that's very obvious. They, they lost her in the woods. I, I don't think she's dead. I mean, that's a possibility, but... It sounds like they were fleeing and May fell behind and... Yeah. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, we're back with May. We look like we're very hurt. Did we fall off this, uh, precipice here? Oh boy. What, was May here all night? I guess so. Yeah, she doesn't look very good. Trying to make her way back into town, I guess. What is this? How far did we go? I don't even recognize this place. Why are there mailboxes but no houses? Lots of question marks. Oh, they found her. Is she breathing? God is here. In this room. 
I believe that. Times like this, we can call out. And know that our cries are heard. I, I'm glad that Lori is here, by the way. Lori and Selmers. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please, God, let May be okay. She's really a nice person. Even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in the movie I want to make. Thrill Kill Witch Cult. I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And and she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And... I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Braski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I, I don't recognize this goat person, I don't think. I'll speak up. Go ahead. Maeve was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down at the end of Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell, and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Hey! Dude, oh. What is happening? Okay, we're in the hospital now, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. Is this bird guy god? I don't know. <laughs> he shows up at weird times. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What'd you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. I don't know if this is real or if May is, like, dreaming all of this. The, the fade-outs and the weird scene transitions are throwing me off. Okay, we're- we're back home. Ugh. Yeah, we're still really hurt. Man, walking is gonna take a long time at this pace. Oh, we can't go to the bridge, okay. Good. Cause, uh... 
I didn't actually want to go to the bridge. I was worried what might happen there. So did May actually get shot? I mean, I heard the gunshot. Are we going to, uh... Oh, was it May they heard outside the door? Oh my god. B? Oh my god. May? Holy shit, it's May. Yeah, she actually opened her eye all the way. That's amazing. It's me. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she, she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Me too. She's a good person. Both of you, shh. No, th. What? It's less noisy. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! I could go for some pizza right now. Oh. May ain't feeling too good. So, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream. Or like, a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. 
Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. This is... interesting. I like it. Okay, it looks like it's nighttime now. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this. I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't. And we're ghosts. We should hang out more. Deal. Next time, Greg, I promise. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3? Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Okay, B, do you want to have a nice emotional conversation? Or is May just going to go to sleep? They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Uh, I just want to see if there's, like, anything else here. Don't push yourself. Okay, nope, there's nothing here, so... Night time. Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? Safer for me, at least. Nobody's been following me. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got mace. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home that one time. That's, that's a smart idea, yeah. Oh, right. Hey, May? Yeah, Germ? What's your name short for? Margaret? Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. Do you know why I beat down Andy Colin six years ago? No. We weren't talking, then I thought I'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist, either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just... me, alone. We're getting a bit meta here. <laughs> and, like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside in the tree out front... I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. 
It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just... dead. Wow, that's... huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or ar around people alone. And there was a statue of, like, the founder or some of something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. Oh, I think May talked about this before, how the statue was just shapes. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so... scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home, where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke, in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but... It sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And, like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and, like... I don't know. What you're going through, it exists. Yet, um... Again, I am no doctor, therapist, I'm none of that, but it sounds like May has some sort of struggles with dissociation, maybe? So, yeah, she needs help with that. I... I thought when, it ca when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... And, and... Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... Oh, May, don't leave on your own. This is a bad idea. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. Uh, I don't know whether to stop or keep going. Because I feel like we're very close to the end. I'll keep going. We're only at like half an hour. Oh, the hole at the center of everything isn't the well, is it? Oh no, I have a terrible feeling. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? 
What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Is that Greg's cousin? Oh, it's B. Oh, it was Greg! <laughs> Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me. And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Ah! Ah! You okay? What are... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? I... I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. Oh, you had a dream? Is that how we're making decisions now? I don't know anymore. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. To die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. That sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up there in the mine, we might be able to c c c corner him in. Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one... something. Bang bang. I'm glad one of us is armed, at least. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Okay, I just- I was a little worried at first because I wasn't sure Angus was still there, but he's still there. We're all still here. I'm paying close attention to everybody's silhouettes. I don't want to lose anyone down here. Pull the lever! Oh, we don't have the option. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's going to hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? 
Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like, a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Well, at least it's an elevator and not stairs, because I don't know if Make it handle stairs right now. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up this for the screaming later. <laughs> Does May have like broken ribs or something? Ooh, zoom out. Nice. I feel like an ant crawling through a tunnel. And we're going to keep zooming out, it looks like. If this game ended with like the tunnel collapsing and everybody dying, that'd be kind of hilarious. I mean, I'd be I'd be pissed off about that, but it'd be kind of funny. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's here. It's through there. Oh, I see an upside down star. Are we implying Satanism here, or something else? It's getting very dark. All I can really see at this point is B's little match. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh boy, they're all down here. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. I will do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the- who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then, why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. 
All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much a say in whatever. Wait, so you think that he'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh god. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vesta Shoemaker, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed bursts through the wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. It never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you've heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. What... what is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there, in that hole. Looking up ass right now. He don't talk to you. He... sings. Why would you just do something a hole in the cave told you to? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, or kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Or we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once he takes a shite into, it rubs off on ya. You can do things. I never seen it. But I said Ed to walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into the, all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Ew, I want to know about both of these. Um... I think first time is pretty self-explanatory. They've done this multiple times. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Are they, like, picking people to sacrifice by throwing them down this hole? Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who be believe you me was a bastard. Oh, if they say Casey, my heart is going to break. Just pure trash. We got him down here. And in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you won't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? 
No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god. Oh no. I have to ask. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long, before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. Fuck. I knew the Casey thing was gonna come back. I knew it. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive was little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right now. Throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous as far out the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that we lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provide for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck in shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people die and houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tank tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. I don't like how May is so close to the edge. I really don't. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. To carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now? Financially like? Or is it just this is just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Uh, I'm not going to bring up the cop word, cause uh, I feel like that might provoke them. Why should we help you? Because if no one else is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The 
kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Aid. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Eid, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I... I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. What the fuck? <laughs> I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Well, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like, they lost what they thought was going to happen, which was what had happened like a long time ago, or how they remember or like picture it, and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Hello. Oh god! Oh, C! C! Uh, mash C! Kick him in the snout. Oh god. That's a decapitation right there. Okay, or severing an arm. That works too. Hey, we got trophy arm. Yay. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May. May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit. How are we going to get out of here? Shh. Give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. 
You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yes, pull it, May. That you're not very good at pulling, I guess. Uh. Okay, good, because I couldn't move it on my own. I need teamwork here, guys. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. I would think mine rivers would be more dangerous because of potential pollution and all that. Holy fuck, this episode. It's crazy. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one the one foot of water. Right. May, you're only like two feet tall. Why is nobody else following me? Guys? Should I go back? Oh, okay, sinkhole. May died. Can we talk to Cat God? I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But... You know... After I sent that kid to the hospital... Years ago... They said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry... Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college... On the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I'm throwing off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens. I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. I don't need to save me forever. I just need to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. 
Did you smell that? I bet he did. Oh man, that, that line May said about wanting to hope. That uh that made me start crying. <laughs> oh, how close to the end are we? Because I wanna stop, but I don't wanna stop if there's only like five minutes left. Mmm, and we're kind of in a groove here, but I don't know. There's got to be, like, a little bit of an epilogue to go after all this, so... Greg told me I could take a rest, so I'm going to stop here. Oh boy, so I didn't expect there to actually be, like, a murder cult? Like, I didn't think we'd be going there. But I guess that answers pretty much all the questions I had. I want to know where the arm came from, I want to know what was up with the ghosty dude, and I want to know what happened to Casey. And I got all those answers today. Ooh. And I wanted to know why May beat up that person in, in high school and why she left college. And I have those answers, too. So thank you, game. Also, thank you for making me cry again. I don't know if I've said it yet in this game, but I actually... I like when a story can make me emotional enough, like, to the point where I start crying. Because that that's proof that the writing was compelling enough to make me care about these characters and the situation. Ooh. And sometimes it just feels good to cry about something that doesn't actually affect your life. <laughs> Which is why I like I like reading sad stories. Oh, May. 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 May's having a rough time. I don't know how this is going to end. I'm sure we'll find a way out of the cave somehow, but... Ew. This is... This got really intense very suddenly. Like, murder cults that throw people down holes in the in ancient mines. What the hell? <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!